your hand on up. We're just going to ask you a few. No, you can stay back there. Oh. <laughs> We're just going to ask you a few questions about your likes and dislikes and all that, and David's going to use that to inhabit you and, and become virtually identical to you. Uh-oh. Once this team <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> so what is your name, sir? Brendan. 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 Right. What do you do for a living, Brendan? Uh, firefighter, paramedic. Firefighter, paramedic. A little of each? Yeah. A little of each. <laughs> So some days you're in the ambulance truck and some days you're in the, the big fire truck, right? Well, I'm on a fire truck, but sometimes I'm a paramedic and sometimes I'm a fire Fair enough, fair enough. Um, let's see here. Do you have any pets? Yes. <laughs> lots. Lots and lots of pets? What sort? Four chickens, two dogs, <laughs> and a cat. <laughs> a cat is in common. It's having a pet. You're going to have one that's going to be destroyed. Or maybe both. Um, if you're a married person, just sort of pretend that we're in the period of your life before you were, you were married. Okay. Within that period, what was something that you would look for in someone to date, an attractive quality? Physical attractive quality? or No, or personality. Just, or um, um, a great smile. Okay. A genuine smile, a genuine laugh. All right. What sort of interests would you like them maybe to have? Um, maybe actually outdoor activities. Outdoor activities? Okay. okay. Um, and what's going to be maybe a negative set of qualities? This is going to make you think, I don't want to date that person. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe they still live with their mom. <laughs> <laughs> still live with their mom, you say. Oh. That's a turn off. They still live with their mom. Um, and it's it, 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 sick. What else? <laughs> yeah. Unless their mother is sick. Right? Okay, fair enough. Um, and what other qualities would be sort of a... Mm, uh, they don't have a job. If they were unemployed? Yeah, yeah. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Uh, what's your favorite type of music? I like all types of music. Okay, okay. fair enough. Um, do you have any allergies? <laughs> uh, yes, so an antibiotic I'm allergic to, vancomycin. Really? Yeah. Yeah. What's a pet peeve? Maybe not like a negative quality in someone you date, but just like you're out in the world, someone does this thing, you hate it when that happens. Uh, people that gripe. At service workers. Mm-hmm. Okay, people. Yeah. It's a minimum wage person behind the yeah. counter, and they're making. Yeah. All right. Anything else, pet peeve wise? Uh, lots of them. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Where's your favorite place you ever traveled to? Uh, well, I've only ever been to Mexico and Canada, so Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, thank you, Brendan. Now we're going to inhabit you. David's going to become you, and I'll probably head it over to Anne, the host of the dating game. all for joining us tonight for a night of possible romance, love, or and or passion. Tonight, tonight we have this bachelor who is looking for any one of those three things. And, uh, and behind the curtain there are three lovely bachelorettes who you will get to ask, ask questions of and decide who you would like to take to home tonight, okay? <laughs> so first, tell us your name. Brendan. My name is Brendan. Brendan? Um, what kind of work do you do? I'm a firefighter and paramedic. Wow. Okay. I've been for a long time. Okay. All right. All right. So I'm going to go uh, meet the, your prospective bachelorettes, and I'll come back and ask you some more questions. Okay, oh, okay fine. All right. Sure. Okay. I'll be right here. Okay. <laughs> Please. That helps with the show. So, bachelorette number one. Hi. Tell us your name. My name is Maria. Maria. Uh-huh. Yes. And what do you do, Maria? I'm a traveling nurse, a traveling especially nurse. in Central America. Ah, okay. Mm. And is there a particular kind of nursing that you do? Animals. Animals. Okay. <laughs> Animals. okay. All right. Good. Thank you. Uh, bachelorette number two. Uh, tell us your name. My name's Loretta. Loretta, hi. Hi. And tell us what you do. I'm an EMT in EMT. New York City. Ah, okay. That sounds like a pretty challenging job. It is, yeah, I must good. say. All right. Okay, and bachelorette number three. Tell us about, tell us your name. Hi, my name is Thelma. Thelma. Okay, <laughs> Thelma. Okay, Thelma. And oh, let me see. It's really hard to talk. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Thelma. So, uh, tell us what you do. Take care of my mama. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you very much, Thelma. Uh, I'll we'll get back to you. Okay. 
All right, Brendan. So you've just heard their names right now. A little bit about what they've done. Uh -huh. uh, do you have any questions of them? What would you like to know about any of these three women? Well, uh, one of the women, I think it was Bachelorette number two, said she was either an EMT or EMT, and there's a big difference. And I kind of wanted to clarify which one she is. And could you like, like, can you explain to the audience like what you're thinking those two mean? Well, an EMT is an electromagnetic technician. <laughs> and e an EMT is an ear, nose, and throat ah, doctor. Okay, there, that's, that's very I different. I understand your concern now. Yes, okay, all right. So, which one was <laughs> Okay, well, I will, I will ask her then. Thank you. So, that's right, number two. You did hear yes. Brendan's concern? Yes. And, and, and ask for clarification. Could you help him with that? Well, uh, an EMT in New York, anyway, is that someone who is an emergency worker. Emergency? Yeah, like we sit in ambulances and take people to the hospital. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So get too excited there. All right, so that answered your question. Uh, more or less, yeah. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So what else would you like to ask one of these lovely ladies? Well, or all of them. Actually, question for all of them, please. I want all of them to answer this very critical question. Yes. Ooh. What qualities are you looking for a man that you want to date? What qualities should that man have that you want to date? And that man means specifically you? Is that right? <laughs> yes. Okay, all right. All right, let me ask. So, bachelorette number three, if you can uh, help us with understanding, uh, what qualities are you looking for in a man? Well, it's really hoping that I should meet a Venice today. <laughs> 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 and that's that number one. What qualities are you looking for? Compassion and patience. Compassion and patience. And, and, you know, the ability to uh, adore animals. Okay, and, passion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, and adoration of animals. Yes. Okay, I got it. Mm -hmm. Especially South American animals? Yes. Okay, I right, got it. <laughs> oh, now. What, are you, what qualities are you looking for? Well, I'm looking for someone that has a wonderful sense of humor and gets enthusiastic about things. Oh, okay, all right. Yes. So, Brendan, you heard those <laughs> answers. Um, maybe, maybe one more question for the women before hmm. you decide who is going to be your choice to take home tonight. Hmm. <laughs> all right. Okay. <laughs> I want to know where the woman would like to go on our first date. Ah, the first date. That's yes. an important one, isn't it? Okay. Uh -huh. All right. So it's not our last date. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You heard, he doesn't want the last date, he wants the first date. So what would you choose? I think I would choose an exotic restaurant in probably Europe. Okay. <laughs> Any particular <laughs> place in Italian, Europe? Italian. Okay. Anywhere right. in Italy is fine okay. by me. That's the best place to find Italian yes. restaurants. Yes. <laughs> okay. Best number two. Uh, well, I would like to go into New York City, uh, go into Chinatown and Little Italy, and have a wonderful... Uh, <laughs> Italian meal in Little Italy, and then walk around. That's ah, a great place. so you two might both want Italian dinner. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. <laughs> yes, <that one>. please. <laughs> Where would you like to go on a first date? Well, so it has to be with my mom. Yeah. And <laughs> I think ice cream. Ice cream. Oh, okay. Oh, mashed potatoes. Oh, that's mashed potatoes. Okay. okay. Brandon, the time has come. God, they just yeah. all sound so interesting. That's <laughs> true. I hardly know which one to pick, but I think that well, I... Well, just one moment. What? We will help you. If you're having trouble with figuring out no, which no. one to pick, no, we no. have a solution for that. What is, what's the solution? Actually, let's let the audience decide which one is going to. Okay. Audience, do you agree? What I'm going to do is put my point to each one of these ladies in succession, and by the sound of your clap, the, the volume of your clapping, it will tell me 
one, two, or three is going home with him. Okay? All right. One, 